Hello everyone, welcome back to more chess, playing 1510 against Hear the Numbers. I actually, there was a game, the last game I played, oh, a brand new player? Game number one in Rapid? Oh, so it seems. Rated higher than me in Blitz, for sure. Yikes. Anyway, um, I played a game that I was recording, and it was just such a nightmare that I decided it was It's the first time I've ever, in any game I can remember... Not just like any chess, but like any any game on this channel, not just chess. That I've been like, this was so awful, I'm not uploading it. Um, just every move I made was a blunder. I wasn't paying attention to anything going on on the board. I got absolutely clobbered, and I just felt so bad about it. Um, so that's why my rating's a little lower if you're watching these things. Uh, I mean, yeah. I guess that's pretty cool. What about here? I don't really want them to, to take this knight. I mean, I guess I don't get to do anything very good with him, though, huh? Well, I could develop the bishop now. Okay. I guess I could have done that to begin with instead of all those trades. I don't know. I'm still happy with the bishop here. They have a better bishop for sure. Uh, my only hanging piece right now, or undefended piece rather, is this rook. I have to do something about this, because if I just ignore it, they can take my knight, and then when I recapture, take my pawn. So that would be bad. Um, is there anything wrong with this? Defend with the bishop? It seems okay. It'll be a while before they can dislodge the bishop with, like, this, this, but maybe they can actually do it. In that case, I could take here, right? Why not just take here now? It makes life awkward for my bishop. Also, this helps me get castle. And if they take here, I'm happy, because it isolates this pawn. Let's go with that. Oh, this, this, uh, this pawn is also undefended, and now this one as well, of course. Their bishop is undefended, and so are their rooks. And this pawn? Okay. Well, we're not moving the knight, because that drops this pawn, obviously. I think this is fine. That was why I did this, right? This pawn is pinned and weak. And this is an, a youthful threat? I'm not sure what they're doing here. Like, you have to do something with your... one of these two pieces to defend the pawn, right? Okay. How do I dislodge that? It's kind of slow. Um, I could like move this knight, move this pawn, queen here, but then they can just defend. So I think this is sufficient for them. I like castling right now. Something else I should do? I mean, castling allows, like, here, here, here. 
here? I'm not sure which rook I would take with. But I think that's fine. Okay, my bishop is now in some danger. Well, I mean, it's defended by the knight, so it takes, takes, but I don't really want to allow that, I don't think. This bishop is fairly good. I can just back up to here, and that controls the knight pretty well. Yeah, okay. Keep, keep an eye on this pawn. Keep this bishop tied down. This is still undefended. Ah, that's why this this would be no good for me. Because I dropped this. I forgot about that. Okay. So, this is kind of a threat. Probably one I can handle, but just something to keep in mind. Here? Where does the knight go if I have a bishop here? This is okay. This is bad. This is bad. This is okay. So I think the knight has plenty of moves. Well, actually, no, this this would be bad also. So I have a I have this well it's it's attacked twice and it's attacked three no twice. Yeah, if I went here it would be attacked three times. So it kind of forces a knight here, which seems productive for me. Or then I could just stay still. There was some reason I liked the idea of attacking him, but actually I don't know what that would be. Yeah, why do that? I don't I don't like that. Can I just develop the queen and put together a battery here? Seems okay. This pawn would become undefended. Am I okay with that? I guess. They'll be able to defend the battery fairly easily by just pushing a pawn. Um, but I can, like, make them do that? Or they could castle, I don't know. But this seems like a productive thing to do. And it comes with some degree of threat. Yeah, this knight is, he can't really go much of anywhere with the knight and the bishop controlling him, but I don't know, he can just like go here, be controlled by, protected by a pawn. I think he would be fine. Undefended pieces, I have uh, a pawn. Two pawns. My opponent has the two rooks. Actually, I'm not so sure that castling would be a good way out of the battery, because then we have two attackers on this pawn that's defended only once. So I think you would you would prefer to push the pawn, which is fine. I guess a threat I didn't notice is this. It doesn't work because the bishop's undefended, but if if they could protect this space at all, this would be pretty devastating to me. Hmm. What are you up to? You're attacking my bishop, but why do I care?
I can attack this pawn and you'll feel kind of silly. I guess you'll push it, maybe? Like that? I guess the other thing is he's trying to get there, maybe, to hang on to this. Actually, this battery just, like, doesn't do anything. The queen and the king are both defending. I would need more firepower than that. Okay. So maybe I should watch out for this square, huh? This square. Can I do something like this? Seems pretty bad. I don't know. Then I could maybe get here. I'm just I don't want this to happen and then this. I don't know, but that still is not like not defended. I wonder if something like Queen here, Bishop here might have been better, but I don't I don't have to fall for that, right? <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. Let's just go here, make them do something. No, I don't I don't want them to push that pawn, do I? I don't know. Undefended pieces, just this pawn and the rook. Find oh, the bishop. That's right. I forgot about that. This doesn't do anything. It just drops a bishop for no reason. This is like kind of okay. I don't really have any better ideas. It blocks in the queen, who I just developed. I'm still a little worried about this pawn. And this bishop x-raying it. These knights are fairly mobile. They they might have to move for some reason soonish. Uh, undefended pieces. Let's check that again. Did I mention the queen? The queen's undefended. That seems important. My opponent has a lot of loose stuff. I just have, like, these pawns. There ought to be some tactic somewhere. This is no good. The rook's covering it. But maybe with a knight move I could get there. The problem is knight, knight, bishop, lose the pawn. So I have to address this at some point. I'd prefer to do it by pushing this pawn, actually to stifle their dark square bishop and not give him unfettered access to my rook. Well, I at least feel good that after spending a long time thinking and playing a nothing move, my opponent is thinking a lot as well. Okay. That's right, I don't want to do this. There's really nowhere else to put the knight. That's why I can't develop this. But I think this is getting better now. Although, here first? Stop that pawn getting any further? That's probably good. 
stopping it on a dark square makes it hard to ever be defended by their bishop. And I just need to keep in mind, if they do something that defends this square, like, it would kind of have to be this, right? Then I need to get my rook off of the diagonal. So this is sort of my chance to move the knight safely, I think. But then they get to fix this pawn up, I guess. On the other hand, if I don't move the knight, then these pawns get weak. Okay, I guess I give them this. They don't they don't want to block their rook in, actually, now that I look at it. Okay, they had it pre-moved. Apparently they did want it. But I have like this. Check, pick up the pawn. No, it's defended twice. It is a check, though. You cannot argue with a factual statement like that. Is there anything good about it? I don't think the king would mind moving. And all the pieces in the area are totally safe. I guess I have to do this. This is still the issue. I can't do that yet. I could just get over here, but no, that drops the pawn, right? Okay. This pawn move does a lot, I think. It attacks the bishop, it attacks this bishop. I guess I would respond like so, so that I don't get my king side opened up. My pawns are a bit ragged here. I think it's important to get to this file. With which rook? This one might want to go here, I guess. Let's take this rook over. I have ideas like this, but they, they don't seem good. Takes, takes, and my pawns are a lot worse all of a sudden. I guess here, here. Now I have this. Rook takes would be a much better than bishop or than pawn takes, I think. And I can maybe assassinate their dark square bishop that way. And if not, if they duck out over here, I'm reasonably content with that outcome as well. I'm blockading their most advanced pawn. I'm controlling a lot of good squares. And I'm sort of hard to deflect. It has to be with this, and that's going to take a while. Where are you headed? Here, here, maybe? Oh, maybe here. No, I'm, I'm guarding that. Yeah, I don't know. Forget, forget what you're doing. I'm just, I'm putting my bitch up here, whether you like it or not. God dang it. <sighs> they ended up defending this, and then I forgot I had to move, because they defended it in a way I... This has just been sitting there for ages, and then they finally did it. Oh, I hate this game. Okay, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I can get my queen out of the way. I lose the exchange. 
where can I put her that's productive? Here is possible. These are possible. And that's about it. Let's put her here so that I have some threats along this. Well, I'm going to say along this file, but they'll have this. So my queen will be pretty vulnerable. If I paid more attention to what the rook was doing, I might have noticed it's defending this square, but probably not. <laughs> what about this? Is that any good? No. They just take here, and I have all the same problems. I'm going to try this and see how it goes. Well, I was going to pre-move that, but... I don't know. My queen now stands to be chased around like this. This? Here? I would have some trouble. They can get a lot of moves in with tempo while my queen is here. Huh, how do we take? Not with pawn. I think with the rook, right? Threatening some stuff over here. Could I let the bishop live? Is this forcing enough? I don't think so. And also, I'm like threatening to win this pawn right now. Okay, I'll just take it. I think getting this rook up here is a big improvement. He's a great rook. Queen here looks like the way to prepare that checkmate. You could try this to block it, but then I just... They're threatening some sort of serious stuff, I guess. But it takes a lot of moves to get here, I think. Well, maybe not so many. Here... Here threatens maiden one, right? So I would have to back down. Okay. I mean, let's just line up on this guy and defend all this. I mean, yeah, I did drop that pawn, it's true. Queen here would be kind of a nuisance. I can stop that with this, though?
think I'm all right with this. I mean, I better be because everything else looks pretty horrible. King here, I guess, would be the other move, but I like the bishop better here. I want the king watching these squares. It's nice of them to move their queen into the range of this. So now I can possibly pick this up. I'm not sure. Might not be safe. Oh, that's cute. So takes, takes is a possibility. And I get this, but they get this. They have two rooks against a rook and a bishop. Or I could do this. Keep the queens on. I don't know which one I want. My opponent has the safer king, so I should probably try to get the queens off. Even though it means trading down. Now, can I defend this stuff somehow? I don't think so. So I'll just grab a pawn while I can. Threaten. Well, it's not really much of a threat. They'll just be happy to trade. I actually feel like I might be okay making this trade here because it gives me connected passers. I guess they don't have to accept, but I feel like they will. It makes these pawns into like a pretty strong combo. I, they, they definitely should not take here, I think. They can do something else to try and threaten to take the rooks off. Yeah. So if I do this, am I just like asking for trouble? Maybe not. Now their two rooks are both tied down to this file. Neither of them can ever move. The king can't get over. They could move if they did so with check. But I think now I try to sneak my king over like this. And try to win a rook. Yeah, connect those rooks, get them on light square, those pawns. Get them on light squares. Can I push? 
push takes push back over here. That doesn't really work. I mean, I'm defended. They can't actually... But I, I can't ever promote. They'll have time to bring the king around the long way, I think. If I try this, it just falls, right? And I can't defend it. I think I have to try pushing and see what happens. And now they're going to have a rook tied down over there. And it's basically like, I don't know, my king against all this stuff. <laughs> Just sort of a problem. I don't want to go here. They just get this push with check. Oh, you know what? I have this. I should have done this. Eight. No, they, they can just move here or something. It doesn't really accomplish anything. It chases the rook, but not off of this file. hate this. This king is going to eat me alive. Here? I could pick this up, maybe. There's here. I don't really see what this accomplishes. Because I can't actually attack anything over there, or I drop this. They'll just start pushing like so, I think. And then eventually I have to drop something. So there's like here, here, and then this is pinned even. So let's back up. I don't know. I've got to be super dead somehow. There's a million ways to kill me. I don't really know what my plan is here. Oh, I can't even step up anymore. Whoops. I see, yeah. I can spend five moves chasing down this rook, and then he just leaves. I'm really dead. All right, let's just leave. I don't remember what went wrong this game. Some things, I'm sure. I don't mean like I played a perfect game. I was clearly far behind. I just, it's so far in the past that I don't remember what the problems were. Analysis has taken a while. D5. D5 was a mistake. Oh, bishop D5? It's a little hard to see with the thing here. Oh no, D5 was... It doesn't like bishop D2. I don't understand how, like, when it knows the opening book, it still thinks that black's move improves black's position. And so it's, that's just obviously impossible, right? You can never improve your own position. You can only make it worse if, if it was analyzing perfectly. So I had a couple chances here, huh? There were some tactics in the mid-game that we both missed.
Only one blunder and one mistake. I just got crushed on the inaccuracies, huh? Well, and the blunder was really bad. <laughs> um, so this, I guess, is my mistake. It says, don't do this. I'm, I'm winning here, right? Yeah. But I just don't know what my plan is supposed to be here. Bishop here? That's a square it's tough to push him off of. And it focuses on this. Let's see what it thinks of that move. Not too bad. Yeah. But Stockfish suggests knight a4. Knight here. What's that Says this is bad. So what what's so great about the knight here? It's threatening this square, I guess. Which is difficult to knock a knight off of also. That's why it's suggesting this, to, to take control of this square. Huh. All this is like Oh, it also defends this. I didn't see that this whole time. I was like, I can't ever move my knight because it drops this pawn. But I can move him here and hang on to the pawn. And then I move the rook, and then I can start pushing these pawns. Right? Yeah. Start trying to break open this stuff. Apparently get in a flight square, why not? I don't know. It's not like clear to me what all these moves are doing. But okay, fair enough. You can put the knight there. Interesting point. So this, it doesn't like this either. My opponent's last move, rook d6, was a blunder. Now this is interesting because it was opening it was it was preparing to defend this. Um, and so this was when I said I need to get my queen up. What earlier in the game I said if something like this, i.e., defending that square, ever happens, I need to get my queen off of this diagonal. I didn't actually do it now because by this point I had forgotten. I'm not sure what the idea is here. Or I can get my rook off the diagonal. That's fine, too, as long as I'm willing to move the queen next. So I, I see why this is a blunder, but I don't see why my opponent's move was a blunder. And so I don't know what I was supposed to have done to punish it. Queen here? Queen here, trying to form a battery on this. How can rook d6 be so bad? I mean, uh, it's not like it's dropping this here, 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 for example. I guess I could just prepare something quiet like this. And then if they try this, I have here. Takes, takes. Still doesn't work. I don't know. This? No, it's a mystery to me. Okay, tell me what to do, Stockfish. Ah. <laughs> what lovely symmetry. 
they put their own rook and queen on the same diagonal. And then if they try this, I pick... I was thinking I pick up the rook, but apparently not. Then they get a queen... No, then they then it just equalizes, right? They grab my bishop to stop anything bad from happening. I see. But if I take here, the rook is actually pinned, and I end up winning the bishop. That's 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 very nice symmetry. Yeah, I just was not alert at all to what this rook move was doing. And this is, it's both a huge threat and a huge weakness, and I can take advantage of it like so. Okay. Well, sad to lose, but this isn't the saddest loss I've ever had. Opponent played well, I think. I mean, insofar as people at our level ever play well. Let's, uh, just out of curiosity... How is my progress on, like, just my average centipon loss by, let's say, date? Like, how are we doing? Still sort of on a downward trend. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm okay with that. Anyway, I guess that's, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.